All right, Rowdy, here we go to the 200-yard Butterfly National Championship. Ellie Easton, Mark from 2018, still holding true. And there is Emma Stickland, who has been in this race each of the last couple of years. Her best finish, seventh. She's in the fast lane as the top seed. Yeah, two years in a row, seventh. And here are the lane assignments. Abby Hartzer, a junior for UVA. She will be in lane one for the Cavaliers on their way to a third straight championship. Lindsay Looney of Arizona State, fourth in the 200 fly at the U.S. Trials and the Pac-12 champion. Alex Walsh, the defending champion for UVA. She's in three. She didn't race this at the ACC championships. Already has one title here in the 400 IM. There is Emma Stickland, the top seed, the Big 12 champ. Can she get over the hump and claim an individual championship? Well, here is Dakota Luther of Texas now swimming at her mom's school. She's been in this race three separate times, racing for Georgia. Now racing for Texas. Here's Kelly Pash, another Longhorn. A very well-populated championship final for Texas. Abby Hay of Louisville, her first championship final. Silver in the ACCs in this event. And a freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina for Stanford, Charlotte Hook, just 19 years old, third in the two fly at the U.S. Trials, just missed the Olympic team. And a lot of Longhorns, Rowdy. It is raining Longhorns <laughs> in this A final, and certainly will cement their status for once again a runner-up at the NCAA Championships. Believe it or not, Texas has never won this race. Watch Alex Walsh, though. As you said, she swam the 200 breast stroke at the ACCs and would have been third. That time that she won at ACCs would have been third in the final here in the 200 breast stroke. Elected to swim the 200 butterfly. Probably a little bit better in the 200 breast stroke, even though she's the defending champion here. Yet she's doing it for the team here for Virginia once again. And the Cavs, again, have two swimmers here. Walsh and Stickland both go out identically 24-18 in the first 50. And Stickland's had a great, another one of those swimmers has had a great meet here in Knoxville. Two top six finishes, but yet gets lost with these superstars that Virginia just throws at you almost every single race you see a Cavalier in it. And that's what's happening here with, look at this, 50.57 on the way out. 50.57. Is that right? That split is three seconds faster than the record split. 50.5 going out. I have to look at that again. That is so quick. And Walsh maintained it. And Stickland was a second under record pace. 119.8, 119.8, still a second and a half under pace. 50 yards to go for Alex Wall, trying to defend her title, but trying to obliterate an NCAA mark that has stood for five years. That record, yeah, is five years old. That's LA Easton, 149.51, and Stickland is not going away. This race is not yet decided, though. Walsh and Look Stickland. Look at Stickland. Comes Stickland in four. Does she have the final? Yes, yeah, she will. Touch the box to Emma Stickland. 149.95. Just off of the NCAA record, finishing seventh each of the last two years. And the junior from Katy, Texas, finally has an NCAA championship and the first Longhorn ever to win the 200 fly. Ran down Alex Walsh somehow. Well, Alex just a little touch fast on that first 150 point going out. Just a little too quick on the guns going out that first, really the first 50, and she was 24-1. But that, that was really the second 50. She was 26-3. Stickland very patient, 28-3 on that second 50. You, you saw Walsh still leading, but she's coming up a little high, Patrick. You see the height she's getting? She's not moving forward. She's not kind of moving that head and those shoulders forward. She's coming up and down, up and down, and Stickland driving it forward and just goes by her at the very end. Alex Walsh, she got tired at the end. Oh, a great time for Walsh. She goes her best time by a half second. And look at this reaction. Might be the best reaction we've had 
here in Knoxville. Screaming, let's go. And does she apologize here to Alex Wall? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Takes down the defending champion with the race of her life. What a reaction. And here are the results. It is a meet record for Emma Stickland. The first ever Longhorn to win the 200 yard fly. Takes down Alex Walsh. Emma, NCAA champion. How good does that sound? That's amazing. You know, it's you only ever dream of having moments like this, and sometimes you think to yourself, is it even possible? And I just can't believe it. And yeah, it's just amazing. When you came into tonight, did you think it was possible? And then to go one three five with your Texas teammates on top of it. <laughs> You know, I learned something from Lydia last night. She told me, she said, um, I believe I could do it, but I also believe that everybody else in my heat is capable of it as well. And so it's just an amazing field to be a part of, and I'm very blessed. Well, congratulations, Emma. What a stellar swim for you. Thank you so much.